Hello everyone, Ignited Fire welcome you back to more Let's Play that's in the of Into the Past. So last time we started off on, actually last time we beat the Ice Palace boss. We also got this nice little cape along with facing off against the Misery Mire boss. And now this time we are hoping to finish it off. Come on, come on. And this time I'm gonna pay attention. Oh, that stuff kills also. That's always nice to know. Oh, now I do. Come on. Nope. Maybe that's why I use other stuff. Couple more eyes. I'm just gonna use this that where I can. That way I'll use all this stuff. In that way I'll. Because I hate leaving the thing for that. And plus I can use my uh, beam to spam that and. Hope that he gets hit by something. And I accidentally put him. Oh yeah, you're dead. Somehow this isn't killing me anymore. Dun dun. And actually, I realize I need more money. But that means we're making a star at some place where I think there's money. Wow, we have so much health. And I, because of you, I can save from the clutches of evil monsters. Thank you. Ganon captured us because he couldn't break the steel of the wise men with his power alone. And then using the wizard Egnem as his pawn, he drew us into the dark vault. After cracking the seal with his, with our powers, he sealed us inside of these crystals. He then gave us to his little monster, again and didn't play on you this far. Now Princess Zelda is waiting in for you inside of Torah. Please hurry. Do you understand? May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Oh yeah. And so that is Misery Maya, boss. I'm... And now I need two things. One more health. Two are double checking that there's no hurt piece. Hey, what's in here? That's a great. Well, that could have been useful to know before. You know, that could have been really nice. And for some reason, I thought I saw something back here, like a hole. Anyway, over here, I think it is. Yes, it is. There's something down here, and I'm pretty sure, it, yes, it is a hurt piece. There we go. Okay, yeah, now we have another quick stop we have to make. Sadly, we're going to be having to do a little walk around, because it's in the Kakri Cold Dark World. Can't creak over village, but dark world. Because there's supposedly another 300 rupees somewhere in here. I just need to get to 200 for a nice little item. That theoretically I should be able to buy now. Why have my hammer out? I don't know because I wasn't thinking. I was originally just gonna walk around, but no, I forgot. Now, 300 rupees, that should. That's not hard to hide. That's a treasure chest game, of course. Yeah. It's in 
inside some host if I can find it. Well, see, this is also me thinking. And we all know how me thinking ends. I swear it's this house. Nope. I'm not even gonna ask why people are yelling. It would come on. Never mind, I know. There's the 300 rupees. Okay. Ah, uh, what did I want? Look, Mario Pizza. Again, ha ha ha. Mario. Okay. Well, now we just have to head back to where our house is. Because, yeah, I'm gonna end up showing that off now. After how long have we been in the dark world and haven't shown off our place? Yeah, I'll finally get... I'm finally showing it off because theoretically... There's now an item there that we can buy that will help. It only has one use. And that is then us get to where this... Um, nice upgrade. Uh, evil tree stand. But yes. And to do that, to get to the nice upgrade, it's gonna consist of us going to the light wall. Mm, what a shotgun. Yes, this is a bomb shop, any everyone. So can't carry no oh sorry, I was right there. These are super bombs. Well, this is a super bomb. You can drop this off anywhere, press the A button, don't forget. This has one use and one use only in the whole game. If you get hit, this thing's gonna explode. I'm not gonna have to truly really worry about my portal back into the dark world because I'm gonna know where they are. No. Now all we have to do is make it inside and through the gate up here. Because once we walk through the gate, that is where the dark wall is. Now you may have seen this big cracked wall. Three, two. I wonder what that is. I actually don't know what that is. All truth. I just saw that hole. But yes, we walk up here. Let's just pawn throw something in. Let's choose something. Let's choose. Oh, I don't know. My level 3 sword. Yeah. Hello, hello. Did you drop? Okay, I'm sorry. I can't do a lot of voicing her. Uh, this person, blah, blah, blah. And we get the level 4 sword. And that's the strongest sword. There's there's one more thing we can upgrade here. If you didn't upgrade anything already, then you can always come back here and upgrade it. But yes, the boomerang. The boomerang. This is useful. This silver. Give the silver arrows. Who give Ganon his last moment. Definitely need them. You need... I... Hit... Sorry, I hit a button. Yeah, see... You... These are the silver arrows you need to beat Ganon. Because... Anyone who's played the original Zelda... Knows... You cannot beat Ganon without... These silver arrows. And my question is, what is that? But, oh well. That's the only thing that we need the super bomb for. And so I have that over money. I'm going to say one thing now. I'm making a pit stop before we head back there. Before we head back to the... 
nice little. Hopefully, we head up Death Mountain to the. I'm gonna. Oh no! I, I seriously thought I'd be transported back. And so we're finally getting the last upgrades of the game. I'm gonna be bringing three magic, three blue potions into this palace. You will be seen why because it requires a lot of magic. And it's kind of painful, if I remember correctly, but memory. And as we can all tell, I haven't really been using bombs or my arrows. So the big thing is, why do I need all of them? I don't know. I'd like to have no... It's called overkill. Plain and simple. Overkill is nice. The dark world of this place would probably be the smart idea to climb up, but oh well. We're heading into the dark world any of this whole place anyway in a little bit. Actually, no, we won't be heading in a little bit. It'll be for you all tomorrow. The next day, I don't know. I I feel these week a few weeks in advance and... Don't really know how stuff's gonna play out with uploading. Anyway, to the Dark World. Now all we have to do is drop down here and I'm gonna be doing this after because it's going to cost me a lot of magic power and stuff that I don't it's gonna cost me a lot of a lot of magic power to get through, and that's a lot of magic power I don't really want to be using at this moment in time. We'll be doing it right before the last temple. I'm just pointing that out where it is. Because the last palace is Ganon's palace with or Ganon's tower, which is right where the Tower of Hera is. You can go around and sh look at it from where we're heading, but I don't know why. There is another way up Death Mountain. In a bonus video, I hey, screw you. I may end up showing that off. It's a little other way back tr side track. But yeah. It gets you up there. And there's a hard piece over there, which you can get by going through Dark World. Which means we're gonna need to find a portal. And, yep. and you probably all are thinking, hmm, if you need to get into the Dark World to get to the next palace, and why are we up here? Well, and why aren't we in the Dark World? Well, that's because the last portal is up here. Oh, darn it. And that also depends if I can hit those in the right order. It's going to be one, two, th And there we go. Three. And there we go. And I want Quake. And welcome up to Turtle Rock. The highest... A nice high point in Death Mountain. You're gonna need the Quake Medallion, and we're gonna be opening the Turtle Rock and entering the last palace of the Dark World in the next video to rescue Princess Zelda. I'll see you all then. Bye.